Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And this is Winning Cures Everything. We're going to give out our top ten. This is before they have announced theirs. Uh, we're, we're dealing with NFL stuff and everything else. Uh, the College Football Playoff Committee has announced their top four. Uh, I think we are pretty similar on the top four. It is everything else that is uh, up for grabs. So we're we're releasing this, uh, or not releasing, we're recording at 12.20 p.m. Central Time on Sunday. So if they are the same or different from the College Football Playoff Committee's rankings, that way you will know it is, like, this is just our opinion. This is what we think uh, the final top ten should be after all has been said and done. So... Uh, you want me to go on and go first? Doesn't matter. Uh, our way. Hey, you know what? Let's uh, because we're because obviously this is a different show. WinningCuresEverything.com. All of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms, etc., are over there. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for us. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you think the top ten should be. Who should be in that we left out? Who should not be in that we have in, etc. Go on and leave that in the comment section. If you're listening on the podcast, especially Apple Podcast. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave us a nice review. We always appreciate those. It helps us out with Apple's algorithm. That's always a good thing. It'll uh, it'll help support our community. We're trying to build this thing up a little more, so we would appreciate that if you would knock it out. SmackApparel.com is a sponsor on the show. Use promo code WIN, that's W-I-N, and you get 20% off of your order. They got awesome shirts from pro and college teams. Go check them out. They got some really fun stuff, really funny stuff as well. Um, and anything that's over forty dollars that you buy, uh, it, you can buy three T-shirts that are twenty bucks a piece at sixty bucks. You use the the twenty percent off coupon code, whatever. It'll drop down to what forty eight bucks or what whatever the math is. I don't know what it is, but if it's over forty dollars, it's going to ship for free, and you get twenty percent off. Get your Christmas shopping done. Knock that thing out. So, uh, smackapparel.com. Use promo code WIN for a twenty percent discount on that, and. The show is always brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. You can find more information on those along with their in- incredible golf courses, their amazing steakhouses, uh, all the different stuff they got going on. They got a bunch of concerts, everything else. It's always a good time when you go down there. Go to tunicatravel.com to get more information on those. Let's go ahead and jump in the top 10. I'm going to go in and give mine, and then Chris will give his. And. We might argue a little bit. Maybe not. We'll see. Number one for me, LSU, is what it is. I think it speaks for itself. Oh, I've got Clemson at number two. I think Clemson is better than Ohio State. So, I've got Ohio State third. I've got Oklahoma fourth. So, I think that's about what the committee's got. The committee's got Ohio State two, whatever. Uh, Now, we get into the other stuff. I've got Georgia at five. I've got Florida at six. I've got Baylor at seven. I've got all, uh, Alabama 8, sorry, Oregon 9, and Penn State 10. Now, you could convince me to have Wisconsin at 10 over Penn State. I'm not going to make that change, though. I think Penn State would probably beat Wisconsin. I don't have a good reason for it. I just think that's what would happen. <laughs> I've got no good reason there. I can't do the, I think this team would beat that team, by the way for um, uh, rankings is because if we were going to do that, I fully believe that Alabama is the fourth best team in the country. But yeah, I don't. But resume doesn't don't, hold there. I they don't deserve to be there, which is why I just refuse to say this team's better than that team. So I'm doing that. I just have to, I just have to look at resumes. I haven't always been the most consistent when you get to the middle sometimes, because every now and then I'll nudge another team, but it just has to be the number one over overwhelming criteria. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, I, I do have Georgia over Florida. Like one of the things about this, why I can't, I can't necessarily put a team that beat another team over another team. Like I almost wanted to put Florida here, but you know, with, with Alabama and Auburn, like I still think Alabama is the better football team, even though Auburn won the game. Right, it, like the way that the game played out, the way that the stats worked, all that kind of mess. I still think Alabama is a better team. Uh, you look at, you know, 
Penn State, Minnesota, maybe. Like, I, Minnesota may be better. Like, they were at home. They got some turnover, luck, all that. I understand where you're coming from. You can, when they dominate the football game. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, like, I think. Hang on. Penn State, Minnesota is not Alabama-Auburn. That was a back-and-forth football game yeah. all day long. Minnesota never trailed and dominated the game the entire game. Penn State was coming, like, fighting like hell to try to come back to make it look close. Hey, by the way, uh, Broncos, 7 nothing already. So. <laughs> All right. ticket, boys. Go go ahead and uh, and give me your top ten here. Like it or not, this is this is what I got. It's mostly all based on resume and what I think uh, of these teams. All right, I got LSU one, Ohio State two, Clemson three, Oklahoma four. I don't think that there's any discrepancy there. I got Oregon fifth. Oh no, sorry, wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> it's mis misspoken thing. I saw Oklahoma. I saw the O. I knew I already said Oklahoma. I got dyslexia. Georgia fifth, Florida sixth, for the same reason you got. I I wanted to put Florida ahead of them as well. And then I remembered the cocktail party. And that was not a close yeah. back and forth game. That was a that was a rocking chair game for Georgia. They kind of beat the hell out of them. That has to that has to matter. Seventh, I've got Baylor. I think their only loss is to Oklahoma, and I think their schedule. People want to point out their non-conference schedule, and it always pisses me off when say, say people like look at a certain part of the schedule. I think the only times people parse out sections of the schedule is when they're trying to make stats lie, and that bothers me. I want to look at the entire. We have the entire schedule in front of us. I don't. I don't think it's okay to say look at these three games right here. They should have hurt them. No, no. You, you, now we have the whole thing in front of us. We have to look at it all. Yeah. You agree or disagree? Uh, no, I agree with you. I okay. like. I, I find it funny that so many people uh, after Oregon beats Utah, yeah, and they are all pointing to, well, see, like Oregon should have been smarter. You shouldn't have scheduled Auburn. It's like no, you shouldn't have no, lost to Arizona State. That's that's where it is. You shouldn't have lost to Arizona State. Like you should be playing Auburn. You, these teams should be playing good teams. But yeah, but if, if you're Baylor, like, what are you going to say that you shouldn't have played these like weak non-conference games? I mean, it, like it's just ridiculous. Like I, yeah, because keep people crushed them all year for playing. I those. know. But, it, but, but they, they've they got still played Texas. They still played yeah. Oklahoma State. They still played Kansas. They still played Arkansas And now they're 11-2, and two and they're probably going to be in the Cotton Bowl. Yeah, they're good. All right, so eight. I'll get back to it. Eight, I got Auburn. Nine, I got Minnesota. I really struggled with those two right there. I, I The Alabama win for Auburn is what jumped that. They're a three-loss team over two two-loss teams for me. But I that that's a big boy win. Minnesota doesn't have that on the books. They just don't. Well, they get the Penn State game, but you know. But that's not Alabama. That's there's a drastic difference. Penn State's not in my top ten, and I don't know that they'd be in my top 12, 13, 14. I mean, I don't know how long I gotta go to get to them. Okay. I don't think they're great. They got one good win on the season, and they ain't even a great win. Um, and then I got Bama 10. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So Basically, our eight through whatever. So, I think the top seven is going to be about the same for everybody. Maybe. I mean, I, I guess I it depends on what Baylor. They have Baylor not in the top ten when this is done. I, man, you think so? Man, the committee hadn't liked Baylor all year. You don't think they're going to drop them some? They had them seventh, you know. Yeah, but the they, they went to Oklahoma. overtime with their with their playoff team. Like I, they had them seven with Oklahoma and only a one loss. So now yeah. they got two losses to Oklahoma. Are they going to have them lower than that? I mean, they, they did have them down at like 14 after they lost Oklahoma the last time. So I'm, I'm telling you, I just don't think the committee likes them and they don't like Minnesota. And I think the committee's wrong for that. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, that's uh, this is interesting. This if is I had stuff. to guess, the committee's going to have Wisconsin in here somewhere. Um, I probably think, in the top 10. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think they might have Utah in here because I don't see the committee having five SEC teams in the top 10. I might be wrong on that, yeah. but, but I also think they're wrong for that. That's not SEC bias. Watch these teams play all year. Yeah. Auburn's got, they're just better. The, Auburn's got two losses to two teams, three losses to three teams that are, that are really good. Florida's only got two losses to two of those same teams. Like that, Auburn has losses too. 
I mean, the SEC was just really top heavy. Well, not even top heavy. They had five teams that were unbelievable. Yeah. No, I, I agree. And that, I mean, that may have been about it. Like, because the rest no, of the teams I are not great. I didn't say six. I didn't say any more, but no other conference has five teams this good. No. No other, no other conference has two teams this good. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. Anyway. Ah, this is going to be a, a fun bowl season, I think. This, I'm, I'm looking... We can get some good matchups, man. We don't get to make the matchups, and that's what pisses me off, is you got so many contracts, and these ADs get to see, you know, I don't want to play this team. I don't want to go to that location. And they have so much pull and influence over these guys that you don't get good matchups all the time because people want to run and hide from other folks. Yeah, you're right. You're I, I would do right. anything. I've made this clear. I really want to see Texas, Texas A&M. I really do. Both these teams barely made a bowl game. They're seven and five. They're not great. It's not for anything. But nobody cares about bowl games, and that would be the one non-playoff bowl game where both sides are like, we're not losing this game. Yeah. Now we're not right. going to get that in another bowl game. Now you're right. You're right. Two teams that hate each other. <laughs> Make them play. I'd love it. I'd love it. It didn't right. sell out, by the way. You're talking about most watch bowl. It's not the playoffs. Oh, man, most yeah. tickets sold. Put that in Jerry World and, and sell 100,000, 110, 120,000 tickets. Oh, it, it would be – it it may be the most watched bowl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Even more crazy. than the playoff games. Yeah, you could be right. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Of course, winningcureseverything.com, smackapparel.com. Use promo code WIN for a 20% discount. And go to tunicatravel.com. Uh, anything else we need to hit? That's it. I see think you, we're good. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.